everyone, my name is Dee and I am a UK lawyer and I'm going to be looking at the details of the divorce settlement between Kim Kardashian and Kanye West who has now legally changed his name to Ye. So their settlement comes eight years after they got married in the Italian city of Florence in 2014 and also a year after Kim Kardashian first filed for divorce. So we're looking at two things here. This is a long marriage and also um, their settlement has been dealt with within one year of Kim Kardashian first filing for divorce. So first of all, as a long marriage in England and Wales, we'll be looking at the equality principles, which just basically means that both parties will split their assets 50-50. Sometimes it can be more, sometimes it can be less. Um, also, the fact that the parties have now dealt with the children, dealt with their divorce and dealt with their financial matters, almost within one year of Kim filing for divorce. It's just really incredible. It's such a good thing. The former couple would have joint custody of their four children who are aged between three and nine, which is also brilliant for the children. Happy children, happy parents. We like to think um, at the end of the day, um, we're happy that Kanye West gets to have joint custody of the children. This is something he always wanted. He would normally come out and talk to the press about Kim not allowing for him to have contact with his children and all of that. So the fact that they have that in the agreement puts paid to that. It's very helpful. West, who has legally changed his name to Ye, as I said, will pay Kim Kardashian $200,000, which is approximately £166,000 a month in child support. And both parties will split the cost of their children's private security, their children's private schooling and their children's university. So that's really good. It means that child maintenance has been dealt with. Now, um, neither party will pay the other party spousal support and they will each pay their own debts. This is the best part of the settlement because it just means that both parties walk away with what they brought into the marriage. It just, you know, really, really avoids an acrimonious, lengthy litigation. They had a prenup, by the way, which was helpful to them. I do know that people have strong views about whether prenups are good or prenups are bad, especially when people are Christians. Most people feel that if you're getting married, then what is his is mine, what is hers is mine as well. And there should be no plans as to how you know you will get an, um, an advantage if both parties were to split or you will get a payout or less money, all of that, which, you know, comes with prenups and their terms. Anyway, the fact that neither will pay the other party's spousal support is really good. And both parties will pay their own debts. I would think that Kanye West has more debts than Kim, especially because of the financial situation that he now finds himself in. But, um... You can never tell. He's still a millionaire. He was a billionaire, but he's still a millionaire. So he still has money. And both of them have money in their own rights. So they would both keep their money separately. The court documents were filed on Tuesday and they asked for a judge's approval of the terms, which means that they came to an agreement via what we call a consent order, which has to be endorsed by a judge. A judge has to think that the terms of the agreement is fair, at least in England, before the court endorses the consent order. Um, because of their prenuptial agreement, both of them kept their property largely separate, which is what both parties can decide even when they don't have a prenuptial agreement. If both parties agree and the judge thinks that their um, terms are fair, then the judge will definitely endorse the um, consent order. The parties got married eight years ago, as I said, but Kim filed for divorce almost a year ago. And in March this year, a judge declared them legally single at Kim's request. However, I watched one of these interviews where Kanye West was talking about Kim as though Kim was still his wife, as though Kim was still his property. He was in his the head of the home and all of that. I know that he's Christian and I understand his beliefs. However, legally, we like to say in life and in death, they are now separated is a clean break. Um, Kanye West has lashed out as, at Kim in the media um, and he's talked about her, about her family, about um, Pete Davison 
and he has just basically complained about not being allowed to make important parenting decisions in the children's lives and he says that he has been excluded from their milestones such as their birthday parties but Kim has said that these are not truthful and she has said that the attacks are hurtful and she has accused him of making co-parenting impossible every step of the way <laughs> quite interestingly Kanye West fired two of his lawyers since the divorce was filed and he wanted the right to question any new husband Kim Kardashian has under oath rightly so a judge rejected that request I don't even understand it Kanye I really like Kanye but some of his thinking is wow they are just wild like imagine him actually putting Kim's husband under oath to question him no as I said before Divorce means in life and in death, you're separated. Some people get divorced and then they start dealing with the financial matters. In their case, they have dealt with the divorce and the financial matters, which means that nothing ties them together again. Kanye's reputation has been battered in recent months um, because of the offensive and what a lot of people are calling anti-Semitic remarks, which he made. And that caused for many companies to cut him off. One of those companies was Adidas and um, Kanye West fell off the Forbes billionaires list after he was dropped by them. Their lucrative contract with him accounted for $1.5 billion, which is approximately £1.3 billion of his net worth. Now, with that gone, Kanye West is no longer a billionaire. And this is what Forbes said. Kanye West has announced that he will be running in 2024 for the U.S. presidential election and he asked Donald Trump to be his running mate. Are you going to be voting for Kanye West? Anyway, let me know in the comment section. Kanye West previously ran for office in 2020, but he only made it to the presidential ballot in a handful of states due to a combination of missed deadlines and lack of signatures. So um, I have gotten this off, you know, the internet and looking at some cut documents here and there but i must say that this has been um, based on my research but then um, sky news and the other big news have all reported about the divorce so this is legit news let me know what you're thinking do you still want to be a family lawyer or would you rather be a corporate lawyer and um what do you think about divorce i'm not a pro divorce lawyer however when children are involved or finances are involved somebody has to sort these things out and then um, sadly if there's domestic violence then um it's a no-brainer but we haven't heard about domestic violence in this particular case but parties have reached an amicable decision and this is in the best interest of the children do not forget to like subscribe and share and let me know what you're thinking bye for now it's steve